Welcome to University Uttara Malaysia. Scenario in school. Hi, Jack. Great to see you. Where do you want to go? Good morning, Austin. I have rushed to my seminar class. See you later. The bell is ringing. Class is about to start. We should go inside. Let's hurry up. Today lesson we are going to talking about Mary Parker Follett. Mary Parker Follett was an American social worker management consultant philosopher and she pioneers in the fields of organizational theory and organizational behavior. Who can tell me what is the meaning of teamwork? Please raise your hand. Jack. Stand up. Teamwork is the ability a group of people has to work together. Very good. Sit down. Now, we discuss why Follett thinks and believes teamwork is important, because she believed that nobody could ever feel complete without forming part of a group, in other words, teamwork and collaboration were keys to improving result in a company. If the employee feels left out, he or she will most likely be less productive. This could lead to a harsh work environment for said person and also that person will never even try to improve or innovate. Mary Parker Follett called management the art of getting things done through people. She believed in group synergy, in other words, when different people, with different skills, get together, the possibilities become endless. Follett believes there are three alternatives to find a solution when conflict or dispute arise. Sir, may I ask you a question? Yes, please. Sir, what is the concept that means by Follett when domination occurs? Follett said when domination occurs, only one side of the conflict gains satisfaction, leaving the other side without their requirement being met. Let's watch a short video that described the concept of domination. Come in. From the previous video we can see the CEO dominated the employee. We just saw how an employee's idea can be easily refused before any analysis or conversation takes places, while the second explanation is, Follett believes this is due to the fact that managers work as if they were over their employees instead of with their employees. Next alternative to find a solution when conflict arises is conciliation. Andrew, please wake up. Why you sleep in my class? Please answer me what is the meaning of conciliation? I don't know, sir. Can anyone help him? Yes, sir, I can help Andrew to answer. As I know conciliation is limited to encouraging the parties to discuss their differences and to help them develop their own proposed solutions. Before watch a short video that about conciliation, Follett said when conciliation is selected for resolving a conflict, both sides gives a part of their solution reaching towards a middle ground to resolve the conflict. In other words, conciliation means neither side gets what it wants. From the video, we witnessed how the employee's idea of producing backpacks with more color patterns isn't taken seriously, but the CEO, who wishes to only sell black backpacks except halfway. They meet in the middle and decide to sell backpacks with colors on the gray scale. But till now are you all understand about the two ways to resolve the conflict that we discuss? Yes. 
Sir, can I ask you what happens if integration is a method of resolving conflicts? Yes, of course, Austin lets her show you a short video. Okay, sir. From video implies Follett explaining conflict arises when demands are not attended. Putting them aside should not count as a solution, so, the only way to resolve the conflict is to attend these demands which means that both sides may get what they wish. The class time is over. Please go back fine about criticism of Mary Parker Follett's management theory. Goodbye students, see you in the next class. Goodbye, sir.